Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 13, and today one verse, verse 22. Here's what it's talking about Jesus. Here's what it says. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Now, let's pause right here. I know this isn't very much, but there's something to keep in mind here. Now, the Luke, the Gospel of Luke is 24 chapters long, and I want you to notice now that that basically half of the Gospel of Luke is Jesus' long walk toward Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, he's going to be tortured, he's going to be apprehended, crucified, and he's going to rise again from the dead there. So it's interesting to look at the way the, the, the Gospel of Luke is structured, all these different pieces. But here it is, only about halfway through the book, and we begin hearing about this actually just a little bit before this. But Jesus is walking toward Jerusalem and he's coming back, you know, he's been out in Galilee and different places. And, and now we're going to be working our way back and seeing all the things that happen along the way. It's a journey. Jesus didn't just come. He could have, you know, snapped his fingers and said, look, abracadabra, we're all here. We're, we're done with all this sin stuff. But Jesus didn't do it that way. God didn't do it that way. His Holy Spirit is working and he's trying. Notice what it says he's doing. Did you see it? In verse 22, he went through all the cities and villages, teaching and journeying. So this is the long walk, and along the way, some people think, by the way, teaching is not very important. Well, well, guess what? Jesus thought it was pretty important because all along the way, he healed and he cast out demons. He did all these things. He also was teaching the whole way. So teaching is a very important thing. Uh, all around us are many influences bringing us in the wrong direction. Jesus teaches us in the right way. But notice the long walk. And as we are going through this last half of the book now, keep in mind that Jesus is on his way to the cross where he's going to die for your sins. And along the way, he's even so. He's working away because he loves us and has good things for us. Jesus took a long walk so that you and I could take a walk in salvation. And I hope you're willing to take a long walk with Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, our life, different listeners, maybe some have most of their life ahead, maybe some are near the end of their life in all different uh, spaces. Lord, we pray that we will take the long walk with Jesus, that our walk will be also every day a, a cross-bearing walk that will be like, become more like him, and that the kingdom can be seen through us, Lord, as we journey, as we journey, that other people can see the kingdom because of us because the way you will use us. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Use us. Amen. So may the Lord use you today, use your, even your experience, your, your journey, as it were, so that others find the path to Jesus. Not about us. It's all about Jesus. And yet our life is a little, a little, a little window into the goodness of God. May your life be a window into the goodness of God today.